What's going on guys, Crease Monster here, and today I've got an achievement guide for a game called Dead Ground, developed by Shot X Studio and published by Desert Water Games. This game is a twin stick tower defense roguelike game that has a lot to offer, but if you're only after the achievements, it should only take you between 10 and 15 minutes to get everything. And there's a window stack, which means there's a separate achievement list that you can get over on Windows if you want to get the game twice. Currently, it's $6.50 in Canada and $5 in the States. To get started, click Game and click New Game. The game will put you through a tutorial first before you get into the actual game. So just press A here, and it will tell you all the things you need to do to progress through the tutorial. Looking at the achievements here, 10 achievements, all 100 each, all are super easy, and will come naturally through beating the first level. There's only a couple that might take you one more level, but that only adds a couple minutes. So you want to press A, A again, A again, go down to the RV, which is your inventory, press A on it, and now go over to the sniper and click A to equip it. Press B to back out of there, go over to the shop. Once in the shop, press the right bumper to go to the sell page and sell the pistol. Press B when you're done, go over to camp, and press A to upgrade your camp. And that should pop your first achievement for upgrading the camp. You're all done there, so press B to get out of there. Go over to the fireplace, which is travel, and press A to start. Before every round starts, random events will pop up and you can click yes or no. And depending on how it goes, you can get, uh, you can get positive effects or negative effects. Just say yes every time. So your left stick moves you, right stick aims your gun. To build towers, move your right stick over to those circles, press A, and then left on the D-pad. You'll need those little water droplets to build it. But that will net you another achievement for building a tower. These guys are going to be doing basically all the work for you while you go and do other stuff. So what you're going to want to do is go over and shoot these crates while your tower defense guys are dealing with the enemies. Again, this is just the tutorial, so you're not going to get all the achievements in here. But this is what you want to be doing. You're already getting some of the achievements. So after the tutorial, you should have about three achievements. And now you can get into the game. Just click A on the fireplace to start. You'll get another random encounter. Just say yes. When you see some of the enemies die, they drop gears and water. You're going to want to be picking up those gears. Because... One of the achievements, and probably the last one, is for picking up 50 gears in one life. So just make sure you pick them up after the enemies drop them, because they do despawn at the end of rounds. Now as the round's going on, you're going to want to walk around and shoot these crates, because they'll drop gears for you. They also drop water, which is an achievement for picking up. And the more water you get, the more towers you can build. But you should only need two or three. As you're doing this, you'll probably pop some achievements just for killing a certain amount of enemies. We're at 18 gears, and you can see in the top left. And here you can just kind of stand at a distance and shoot. Best thing to do is to press X, and then use that sniper sight on a group of enemies and press, press the left trigger when it's off of cooldown, because it does a lot of damage. And you're going to want to use that every time it's off of cooldown. But here I go and just pick up the gears, and then go back to a safe distance. And it's pretty much just rinse and repeat that. Now you can skip ahead to the next round if you want to, if it's taking too long, by pressing the right bumper. What we're trying to do now is just get to the end of the waves, so the boss can spawn. And we can get the achievement for killing him. It's okay if your tower defense guys die, they do respawn. So here I don't want to lose all this stuff, so I start slowly sneaking back up to grab all the gears and water. And here's the boss fight. The boss does seem to be randomly generated. If it's this guy here, he has a gun, so make sure you keep your distance from him, because he can actually attack you from a distance. So what I did was stand pretty far away and just kind of shoot into this pile and keep using the X and left trigger. You know, see they dropped this little blue thing here? I wasn't entirely sure what this did, so I went and got close. It's artifacts, they're collectibles. You don't need these at all for the achievement, so if you see this drop, don't worry about it. Uh, that was just me trying to figure out what it was. But yeah, keep shooting at them from safe distance, keep spamming that X left trigger ability. 
And when you get the boss at the front, once you kill him, you'll get another achievement. Just make sure you keep your distance, because if you die, you're going to have to restart and try and get those 50 gears again. So after the first night, you should have 8 out of 10 achievements. The only two you should be missing is Face the Death, which is dying once, and collecting 50 gears. And it's possible to get 50 gears in one night, but it probably will take you to the next night. But it should only take you a couple minutes. You don't need to upgrade or anything, just go straight back to travel, because all we have to do is get 3 gears and die. Build a couple more towers, 3 if you want. You can shoot the boxes, because they do have gears. Maybe all you need is 1 or 2 and it'll drop it. And your guys should be able to handle the enemies anyways. So like I said, I can see two on the ground there, so I'm just going to sneak up. And there was three, so that's 50. I assumed I'd got the achievement, so I let myself die. It just is going to take a little bit to pop here. It does pop once you hit 50. I was going to retry because I assumed that it didn't work. But as soon as I hit retry, waited a little bit, the achievement started to pop. So that's for facing the death, that's for dying. And we go over a look at our achievements for 10 for 10. So the other one popped as well for 50 gears. It should pop. It might just take a little bit. But there we go. 10 out of 10. It should take you less than 10 minutes. You need to get through the tutorial, beat the first round, and then beat a little bit of the second round. And then, like I said, there's a window stack if you want to do this twice. Get double the achievements, 2,000 gamer score. Game's about 650 in Canada, $5 in the U.S., and just want to give a quick shout out to Desert Water Games for sending me the keys for this game. I do appreciate it. But yeah, pretty fun game. Very easy gamer score, about under 10 minutes. You can keep playing if you're into tower defense games because there's a lot of elements of upgrading and changing your character and all that kind of stuff. But if you're after just the achievements and even if you want to double stack it, it should take you less than 15 minutes to get 2,000 gamer score. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more of these achievement guides for these easier games, let me know. It's a little bit different than the lists and stuff we usually do, but if it's helpful to enough of you, I'd like to do it again. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.